let me load another component form that was not introduced before. I am going to show you a different version of the shell and tube heat exchanger introduced earlier. From the appearance, it seems that there is no difference from the previous heat exchanger. But if I show you the inner heat exchange tube, you will find that the inner heat exchange tube itself is no longer straight. They are actually bent into a U-shape, so that the heat exchanger is called a U-shaped tube heat exchanger, or a U-shaped shell and tube heat exchanger. The reason why I want to load this structural design is because I want to explain what is the difference between a single pass heat exchanger and a multi pass heat exchanger. Let's take a section view to see. At this time, you can see that the tube side fluid enters the heat exchanger from here, flows through the heat exchange tube, and then flows out from here. That is, the tube side fluid that enters the right side and exits the shell and tube heat exchanger on the left side. How many times are turned back inside the heat exchanger? It means how many processes the heat exchanger is. You may often hear that engineers refer to heat exchangers as single pass or multi pass shell and tube heat exchangers, which is to describe the number of times the tube side fluid turns back. The shell side fluid passes through the baffle to realize multiple return. The shell and tube heat exchanger we see now is a single flow, because after the tube side fluid enters the heat exchanger, it passes directly through the tube and then leaves. If the tube side fluid enters from the right side, returns to the right side after coming to the left side, and finally leaves the heat exchanger through the nozzle on the right side, this is a multi-flow design. Because the tube side fluid is turned back multiple times inside the heat exchanger, such a heat exchanger is described as a multi-flow shell and tube heat exchanger. Shell side fluid flow once or multiple times, meeting with tube side fluid inside the shell. If the shell medium enters from above the heat exchanger shell and flows out from below without any baffles, the shell medium and tube medium both have single pass design. Such heat exchanger is the simplest single pass shell and tube heat exchanger. It is rarely seen in design and rarely seen in reality because of its low efficiency. It is usually used when steam needs to be condensed into water or when you want to achieve phase change of medium through heat exchange.